Hello everybody, this is Zurich1983, welcome back. Alright, so yeah, back at the uh, S-Star here. And, uh, we're gonna be getting into some good, uh, story progress coming up. <laughs> oh man, going through it, oh jeez. Went through it on my own, uh, like uh, last night, uh, all the way through where I intend to go, and uh, oh man, it was... It was interesting, to say the least. <laughs> put it this way, when you get to the lunar base and you try playing with all those card rules without elemental, even without uh, without elemental, oh man, that's a lot of rules to play cards with. <laughs> oh well. Alrighty, so yeah, just head back into the city. And before we go to Dr. Odin's lab, I want to go back up here. Up the stairs, because remember I was talking about the... Uh, that one guard up here. Yeah, I can finally get the item that I uh, talked to him for. Hmm, what does she say? You're scaring me, dear. Let's go home. Ooh. Something that was believed to have happened. See, something that was believed to have disappeared 17 years ago is coming here. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Yep. Alrighty, and there he is. You've got Zell in your party, and he only does this when you're with Zell. See, scientifically engineered abilities aren't enough. Personal training is important, too. And just wait. Yes, sir! I'm done with it, so you can have it. Combat King 4, there you go. And let's see. This teaches him another move, obviously. And it teaches him different beat. Alrighty. So yeah, just head back. Head over to uh, Dr. Odin's lab. Yeah, down here. Ah, oh, this is the long way. Oh well. <laughs> Alrighty, we're at. Odin's lab. Doctor, are you here to see the doctor? Yes. Doctor Odin is in a good mood right now. He hasn't been this cheerful in quite a while. I figure something like this might cheer him up. <laughs> Remember this place? Yep. Get on. <laughs> Why is lunatic Pandora here now? Who is moving Zetsing? Galbadian, sir. They're the ones that salvaged it. We must sound the alert in the city now. It will not attack us. The city is not the Z target. I hope so. I hope you're right. But to your point, hmm. Yeah, those two areas I showed you, uh, like the, getting the Solomon wing, ring, that was tier, tier's point. The other one that I showed you was... Uh, the Sorcerer's Memorial. I got them mixed up. So, talk to Odin. So we meet again. This is exciting. Oop, there's a little uh, typo. <laughs> What's so exciting about this? This and that all gated Galbidia and all. It's been a long time since I last saw uh, Lunatic Pandora. That Lunatic, whatever, that big thing? What the hell is that? What the hell is going on? Oh, you want to hear my story? That is nice. I would be happy to tell you. I've been investigating the Pandora since it was excavated. So we serviced it. <laughs> and investig investigated. I don't care about that. What do you want? <laughs> What's gonna happen? What do we do? That is what I'm about to. The enemy's coming, right? And there's no time. We'll do something about it. Just tell us what to do. Make it short. Short, eh? Are you sure about that? That is too bad. Yes, this could be very bad. You want to go inside to stop it? Then look at this. This is a map of the Estar region. Lunatic Pandora's current location is here. Lunatic Pandora's expected course. It will undoubtedly pass over the city. Zoom in map. And that is one creepy looking city. 
The city has one outer skyway and two main inner skyways, all leading to the palace. Lunatic Pandora will head east from the vicinity of this lab towards the shopping mall. The time it will take to cross the city is estimated to be 20 minutes. Boarding Lunatic Pandora is possible at the following three contact points. First one. The first contact point is at the center of the city. It will arrive there five to eight minutes after it enters the city. That is equivalent to 15 to 12 minutes left on your timer. Second one. The second contact point is unknown. We believe it is where two skyways cross. Lunatic Pandora will arrive there 10 to 15 minutes after it enters the city. That is equivalent to 10 minutes or to 5 minutes left on your timer. The third contact point is north of the shopping mall. It will arrive there 70 minutes after it enters the city. That is equivalent to 3 minutes to 0, set, zero minutes left on your timer. And a briefing. That is how it goes. I will give you this. Look at it with A or square. The problem is... All right, all right. We got to get going. I want to talk some more. <laughs> well, let him sp speak his piece. The culprit is not Galbadia. Ooh, that sounds d dangerous. What do you want? Well, ask him about it. Ah, so now you want to know. You know that monsters come falling from the moon. Not off very often that it happens. You don't know? Pandora has an effect on the moon. That may be the immediate problem, rather than Galbadia. Tears Point and Lunatic Pandora together will maximize their effect. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Alright, so head back out. Go down. Alright, I want to take care of my uh, junctions here, because it's going to be coming up to a, a certain point, so I'll uh, take care of them. Alrighty, so i got the junctions taken care of here. Pretty much put them back to where they were before. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same for everybody. Just, you know, no strength junctions, that kind of stuff. Sleep on the attack, and yeah. Um, the abilities, magic item draw. You're going to want draw. Okay, encounter none. Yeah, okay. Uh, move fine, yes. And auto haste, all that kind of stuff. And in terms of, actually, or reorganize my battle menu here. I got all the uh, recovery stuff here, the important stuff there, and then off to the left here on uh, page 8, you got the guy Solid Greens, the Phoenix Pinion Hero, that can be useful. And you got the potions, the status stuff there. And so, yeah, and also with the magic, I rearranged that. I put or Break, or and Meltdown as the top three, because you're going to probably want to start using those. Uh, not right now, because there's not much fighting coming up, so, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's head out. Find out how we're going to get on this, uh, Lunatic Pandora. Where is it? There it is. Alright, so. You can't use the uh, teacups anymore, so. Well, right now, anyway, so. Come on. It's heading for the center. Yep. Come on, man. Get out of the way. I'm in a hurry here. Uh, up here. And this is where you gotta be. This is the first spot. And just to confirm that, hit A, and it'll show you where you're supposed to be. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll wait until, like, uh, five seconds before it gets here, and I'll see you then. Alright? Alrighty, so here we go. It's just about here, and it's here. Alright, you're just going into a fight with, uh, uh regular Galbadian soldiers right now, so I'll, uh, Cast break on them, and I'll meet you after the fight. All right, I'll see you then. Alrighty, now's our chance. And in we go. Creepy music. All right, so here's another meteor draw point. I don't want it. Let's run up here. Uh, that draw point up there on the, on the left there is a Kuraga draw point. All right, and in terms of this, there's actually some stuff you can get. You can salvage the goods from the... Uh, it was the fir the second uh, dream world you had with Laguna, where you uh, you know tampered all those switches and all that kind of stuff. You can actually reap the rewards now. Um, as mentioned in uh, during that video, uh, like by one somebody, uh, I did miss one part of it, and you'll see what I mean when it uh, get to it. Anyway, so what you want to do is first go down here. Somehow, there we go. There's actually five things you can get here. I'm only I, I can only find like four of them, but uh, anyways, 
Alright, so this is a confused drop point, and in here somewhere, there's supposed to be like a love love G or something like that. It basically boosts your compatibility with all the Guardian Forces by 20. So anyways, yeah, just run over here. And there we go, here's the first one we tampered with. Power generator, that gives Quistus the uh, Ray Bomb uh, limit break. Silence draw point, don't need it. And in here is a Phoenix Pinion, and I, obviously I didn't tamper with that switch, so yeah. Alright, and then here's the uh, Combat King 5. Come on, there we go. And then in that uh, doorway at the top there, that's uh, an Ultima draw point. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'm out of time here, so this is Sirk1983 signing off. And I'll meet you at the top of that ladder. Alright, I'll see you then.